We need every single Baltimorean and we need every single Marylander to join us in this work to rebuild this bridge and rebuild this city. Maryland Governor Wes Moore trying to rally the city of Baltimore today. Late last night, dive teams recovered the bodies of two of the missing construction workers, Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes of Baltimore and Dorleon Ronial Castillo Cabrera of Dundalk, Maryland, were found 25 feet below the water's surface on Wednesday. Four others are still missing, but officials say the conditions in the water right now are too dangerous to keep on searching. As for the container ship Dolly, the investigators have now boarded that vessel and found extensive damage. You can see it right there, further complicating the already Herculean task of getting the broken bridge off the boat and out of the water. Joining us now from Baltimore, NBC News correspondent Ryan Nobles. So, Ryan, I know uh, Governor Westmore was at the opening for the Orioles game. That's, you know, spring uh, or it's the first day of the season for baseball. And the Orioles are obviously honoring those who were lost in the bridge. But talk to me about the latest on the salvage and the recovery efforts. Well, it's a monumental task, Katie. There's no doubt about that. And it's going to take a long time before there's some sense of normalcy here in Baltimore. Uh, but they have to, to go through what is really a painstaking process uh, to remove the debris and the remnants of the bridge out of the water, in part because there's an investigation underway. And the NTSB needs to uh, take care of each part of that bridge so that when they get the stuff out of the water, they can actually recreate uh, some of the bridge and trying to determine exactly what went wrong and why the bridge collapsed uh, as quickly as it did. Now, there's also uh, the removal process of the uh, the ship, the container ship itself. Uh, we learned today that there is hazardous materials on board this ship, uh, so that will mean it's a delicate process to get the ship out of the water, so it doesn't create more environmental problems. But one of the things that you heard today from the governor was a, a sincere effort uh, to really begin the process of getting that harbor back open. There are thousands and thousands of Marylanders uh, who are whose uh, employment is directly connected to the harbor uh, and they want to get it back open uh, so, that, so that there is as little loss of jobs uh, for the people of this community as possible. Uh, you know, Katie, it's been a rough couple of days for the people uh, of this community, uh, but you do get a sense uh, that they have optimism uh, for what's ahead, even though it's going to be a long and lengthy recovery process. Uh, let me play a little bit more from, from Governor Moore about uh, the efforts both local and state and federal government uh, are all making to try to get this thing done. Government is working hand in hand with industry to investigate the area, to clear the wreck, and to move the ship. Leaders from across local and state and federal levels are gathering funds to rebuild this bridge. This work is not going to take hours. This work is not going to take days. This work is not going to take weeks. We have a very long road ahead of us. It could potentially take years. Uh, Ryan, your day job is covering Congress. What's the word from Congress on mm -hmm. allocating these funds? So already the governor today has asked the federal government for $60 million, and he's very clear that that's just the initial request. It's basically just to get the process. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.